I'm Jay Kotler and uh, I started jamming the van about three years ago and um, still working with jamming the van, <laughs> still jamming. <laughs> I'm Dave Bell uh, from New York and I also started jamming the van three years ago with this guy and we're also still working. And I'm Spudnik. I'm Spudnik. And I'm the driver. I'm security. And I'm pretty much any damn thing that they want me to be. So that's what I do for Jam. We've been uh, going to Bonnaroo for years. I always go back to that side of the country to like meet up with all my friends. I bought her every year and Dave started going with us and uh, that was really like a big catalyst and I just wanted to do all this. Just going to music festivals and loving going to music festivals. The fun that we have for like those three days, you're off in the wherever you're at. You just kind of fall into a music festival and it's kind of like the dream of like having that be your life all the time. For some reason we were watching uh, this other site called Black Cab Session around the same time too. And uh, we were looking at RVs and we started to throw around the idea like, what if we just got an RV and had some bands come out to us? And uh, I kind of thought Jake would just say, You're an idiot, get back to work. But he said, Yeah, let's do it. And we kind of just haven't stopped. Uh, we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. We knew nothing about production or driving RVs or anything like that. But it <laughs> just sounded like a good idea at the time. So. We rolled with it. Here we are three years later. We used to we used to have to uh, split up the driving among two of us and the crew and uh, just everybody hated it. So we found uh, Spud along and we quickly went from driver to on air talent and a man of many hats now. Now we watch movies in the back while he drives. <laughs> no, no, it's fun. I like to drive. And uh, I like the people. When you're on the road, you know, you get to meet the people. And uh, it frees them up because they are quite uh, quite creative and they can't drive worth a damn, mm -hmm. so the trips must have been hard before <laughs> I got there. I mean, come on, keep it real. But, uh, uh. but they're quite creative and it's a good, uh, it's a good match. Uh, you get to just talk to people in small towns, little stops, it's like, uh, when you drive across a lake and you get to talk to every single water drop, like it's just you get to see what he will talk to every single water drop. Yes, yes, because I learned. <laughs> you know, first weekend we did it right here in this parking lot, and uh, we pretty much got any band that would do it. Um, we had this one band called the Muddy Reds that we've seen in a couple bars that we thought was really good. Dust Bowl Revival was one of the first bands, they were local bands. Uh, we emailed some guy named Wes Kirkpatrick from Utah or something like that that was coming through playing the Mint. We kind of told him the thing, Chicago, and uh, his manager said to me, you know, uh, all right, we'll come out, but I want you to know you're telling my, me to send my artist with a, to, to go meet a bunch of guys he doesn't know with a van in a back alley <laughs> with all his expensive gear. <laughs> so... Uh, you know, that was interesting. I think like when we started, at least when I started, I was kind of like, oh, this is a great idea. We'll have the Black Keys like playing in our backyard in no time. And uh, I didn't realize how much of a uh, climb it would be to convince people at first to come do this thing. That's pretty cool. But um, we just kept with it. And uh, I think they think it's cool now. I had never really kind of didn't believe in it, which might be a little crazy naive. But, uh, you know, once I kind of started saying the idea out loud, 
was like, this is gonna work, you know, it might take a while. Um, but there was enough stuff out there um, where I think there was uh, other people filming bands on the internet, live music performances, because there wasn't a lot of it anywhere else for you to see. Um, it's not on TV anymore. And uh, I think the whole idea of an RV and a mobile studio was a way to, like a fresh way to do it and separate it from everybody else. So I kind of always thought it was going to work. I guess. Definitely, right from the inception, had like an idea that would work to a certain extent. I don't think we knew like exactly where it would go and what you know what it would look like in three years, but we knew that we would make something that was cool and that you know people would dig. And now so. we uh, we have solar panels on the roof of this one, so the whole production is run through solar. We can literally film a band anywhere and everywhere, just as long as an RV can fit there, we could. Pull up and uh, 48. Fill it. Fill it. Uh, we've been over maybe uh, 15,000 miles right now, and that's conservative. Uh, we've been everywhere. Oh my god, everywhere. North. How many cities? Just the ones we passed. <laughs> uh, We've done it in t Tennessee, at Bonnaroo. Yeah, yeah, Tennessee, We did tell you that at Blues and Brews in Colorado. Uh, we go to Northern to California the, to a bunch of places. To High Sierra. Vegas, New, New Orleans. Vegas. Yeah, New Orleans. Asheville, North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, it's been cross country twice. So. Colorado. Yeah. Did I tell you that? Yeah. Arizona. Just, this right. year we're going to put a lot more on it. we got a lot of trips going on. Right. I can't wait. It's, it's fun. Exciting. The best job. We're going back to South by next month, so that should be some good wear and tear on it. We're going to a lot of places this year. We're, we're trying to get to a bunch of festivals back on the East Coast, uh, back up north. Uh, we're going to do all the festivals we did last year, plus we're trying to add. We're going to South by. South by is going to be big for us. Uh, trying to go back to New Orleans. Yeah. We've, never been in New, we've never been in New York, so we're trying to make some sort of uh, New York trip happened at some point this year. Uh, you know that Sputnik is coming. <laughs> West Coast to New York. <laughs> Get ready for it. It's gonna be epic. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, obviously we want to get like our favorite bands in there. Like I'd love to have Widespread Panic in there, and I'd love to have. I don't know. There's just a lot of, a lot of them. So I, we don't. I don't really plan out who it's gonna be. Like we just know we're gonna be a lot of great places. And if we put ourselves in those great places, we're gonna catch some really good music. And sometimes it's the stuff that like uh, you don't expect that's really good. I think my favorite part is finding bands that I didn't know before or uh, that like aren't really out there quite yet. And uh, we come across them like, holy shit, these guys are good. And uh, that happens pretty much everywhere we go now, I think. Yeah. Um, so that's one of my favorite parts though, discovering the new music. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we discover this year. Where we're going is, uh, we're going to be a, we're a production company, and there's a lot more stuff we want to do in music other than just jam in the van. There's a lot of ideas, whether it's live performance stuff, documentary stuff, some scripted stuff around music, a lot of things we have on the burner that we want to start doing. I think, at least for me, why it's based around music is that uh, I just find it to be the most interesting art form, and I think it... Is it sounds cheesy, but because you experience it with live music with other people, it's a different experience than a movie or a TV show or a book or something like that. That you kind of you're in a dark room where nobody really reacts, and you're taking in. Music is everybody experiencing this thing together, and uh, that's why I love it, and that's why I love Bonnaroo, and what led me to do this. And I think we're just trying to get, or at least I'm trying to get more of that out there, so people have that feeling about it and that they come across stuff to go see more live music. Yeah, we're going to blow this thing up over the next couple of years. It's going to be way bigger than just jam and the band sessions. That's, you know, we're always going to be consistent with those and you're always going to discover great music.
with Jam in the Van, but the company itself is going to be a bigger entity in the next couple of years. That's, that's our dream. So if we can become this powerful ent entity within the music industry and, and really have a force that, oh, they've got a Jam in the Van session, the band is, you know, legitimized a little bit, that, that would be awesome for us. Buy a Jam Van shirt. Buy a Jam Van shirt. <laughs> Watch our videos. Yes. If you have a brand with a lot of money, sponsor us. Yes, please do. We kind of are at the place where uh, we have enough business coming in through sponsors and other entities that we're able to uh, focus on it more than anything, which is really nice to be able to do. Thanks, Lagunitas, MXL, and Orange. <laughs> really, though. Beautiful thing, right? Yeah, it's a very beautiful thing. God bless America. Doing what you love is way better than doing something you don't love. We could both attest to that. Yep. Hi, I'm Spudnik, and I'm the driver, and this is Dave, and that's Jake, and they are the creators of Jam in the Van in beautiful downtown Venice, California, shooting a shout out to the bright side, and we appreciate it, everybody, and uh, just log on and uh, stay on the bright side of the street. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Part of killing time is drinking. Part of having friends is lying. I don't want to say it. Okay. <laughs> Just go quit playing. Just go on. <laughs> There's the camera. I know what he's talking There's about. There's the camera. Why don't you tell Jan me? Janelle Monet. Oh. Spud really wants to meet you again and have you jam in his van. Girl, <laughs> you just don't know. You need to come and jam in the van. What do they have to do? to get you because or him. Dave is willing <laughs> to do anything to get you in jam in the van. You are the motivation for 2014. If we don't get you, 15-2. <laughs> 15-2. Right.